guys and welcome back to my channel it's can call my artist here and in today's video i am going to show you like an unboxing of some art supplies that i got and me testing them out and i will be painting huen and kai from tomorrow by together also known as txt on the hype um and yeah wait, wait 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 so before we start the video i wanted to let you know about the projects i'm working with with class 101 and why this isn't going to be a tutorial unfortunately but yeah i am working with class 101 to create my classes and if you're interested in that please follow me and fill out the survey to get money off your class if you are interested it's still in the production so i don't know when the final prices are gonna be but you can always give me your opinions in the survey and yeah please do follow me in the classes i'll show you how i mix colors how i paint with gouache and watercolor and i'm planning to show you all the basics and an ultimate guide to portraiture that can hopefully help you also create a portrait okay sorry back to the video <laughs> the materials i brought and we'll be testing out is the daniel smith watercolors and the arches paper they're very popular in the art world i don't know i've seen a lot of videos and saw a lot of videos before i actually brought them and yeah if you follow me on instagram you've known that i have been using them for some quite some time now and i just never got around to editing this video sorry I, ha I just have a lot of videos honestly and not enough storage on my laptop to edit them actually in my previous video on how to use watercolors i did use them in that video and the colors were so amazing but this painting was the first painting i ever used those materials on the artist paper and the daniel smith watercolors so yeah colors were so pigmented like i took the tiniest amount on a brush and diluted it and the pigment translated on the paper so vibrant so always swatch your colors before you're painting and yeah i did put them in pans and even when they did dry up it literally dissolves so quickly with water and your brush so it feels like you're using it right outside the tube and I even kind of prefer it because it's more solid so less pigment gets on the brush which I really 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 like. Because I am having my class 101 um, on the side I will not create tutorials but I still will create speed paints on this channel, reviews on like different materials um, because I do love experimenting and I hope to do like other content for you guys like vlogs as well and how i make stickers stuff about my etsy shop etc because i do get a lot of requests for those and i will do it when i have time i like <laughs> i'm sorry like university is a struggle and i am trying to balance everything out but after third year i am planning to have a gap year in which i can do all these projects actually i am really happy with the quality of this video i did film it on my dslr camera it is very hard to film on it but somehow i managed <laughs> so i'm glad um but yeah if i do upload videos after this video that are lower of quality it is because i filmed it maybe on my phone or other devices but from now on i will try my best to film the best content and put that camera to use <laughs> I think these two materials work well together if you are layering and as you can see when I start painting it that I try to do the wet and wet technique but because some of the colours were granulating like the ultramarine blue um, it was grainy and because the watercolour was granulating it didn't create a gradient within the colours when I did use the wet on wet technique but almost separated the two colors by the way sorry if you can hear anything in the background i do live on, on the main road <laughs> sorry but yeah honestly i didn't mind the granulating because it did add an interesting texture to the painting and overall how the painting turned out so my thoughts on these products are they're amazing honestly i love the texture that the arches cold press paper has and i've noticed that a lot of people actually love it on my instagram and i get a lot of great feedback 
about it and I love how thick the paper is and how it holds water. As for the watercolours, they are very saturated and the colours build up very 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 well. Like I found that I need to make less layers because the colour dries true to how it's placed um, which means less layers for me. And ever since starting using it, I have received a lot of comments, especially on this Subin painting on how vibrant the colours are, which I'm really glad people can see the quality change. Like, of course I did, but I'm glad my followers can as well. After this video, I did end up getting half pans uh, because I wanted to add, make my own custom palette with all the colours I needed so I filled those half pans with my Daniel Smith watercolours I also added some of my white night watercolour like the violet I think and the other purple I can't remember the name exactly I also added um, extra colours that I brought afterwards because I did enjoy these colours the essential set so much so I did end up buying burnt umber, burnt sienna and a paint grey because those I need. And yeah, so if anyone sees me using that watercolour palette, it is my custom palette and yeah, I use it all the time. I really love it. And it has replaced my Van Gogh watercolours. Shocking, I know, because I used that watercolour palette for a whole year and it was my favourite. It still is my favourite and I still do use it sometimes, but yeah, I do use the Daniel Smith watercolours more. I've spoken about everything I wanted to speak about today, so please enjoy the Hwan and Kai painting and I'll speak to you at the end. you like this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to fill out the survey for my class 101 to tell me what you would like to see in the classes and you would also get 30 dollars off on top of your on top of the pre-sale prices um so i think that's a bargain honestly you should go do that <laughs> and yeah i'll see you guys in my other video Bye! I love you guys. Thank you so much for the support. Oh my god. Okay, bye. <laughs>